Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and clean the Ruger SR 1911. Um, if this is your first 1911, congratulations, you made a great purchase. Uh, if you're not too familiar with the 1911s, for the most part, disassembly is it's pretty much a standard across the board. Uh, so this might help you with other 1911 style pistols. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what you're going to need to to do this cleaning. Okay, so first of all, you want to pick your up pick yourself up some sort of a cleaner. I tend to just use Safari Land CLP for most of my cleaning any. Anymore. You can use rim oil if you want to, ballastol, pretty much any cleaner that you prefer. If you have no idea, just go ahead and start off with CLP. Uh, you want to pick yourself up some cotton swabs or Q-tips for some of that fine detail work. Now you can use a traditional cleaning rod with a brush and a, and, a, and a barrel mop and all that stuff if you want to, which you tend to get in a lot of your pistol cleaning kits. I've got a couple cleaning brushes that have just been kind of floating around from other pistols that I've purchased that I'll use to scrub out the barrel. Uh, otherwise you can also pick yourself up a uh, boar snake. doesn't matter really what brand you go with. I like the um, Hoppies 9 boar snake. They run about 10 bucks. You can get them at your local Walmart or sporting goods store. And this is for a uh, 44, 45 caliber. Uh, as for actually scrubbing and cleaning, you can use old cotton cut up t-shirts if you want to, but I prefer to buy the, uh, what is it, Allen brand cotton cleaning patches. These run about four bucks for a package of 225 roughly. Uh, make sure that you have yourself your barrel bushing tool. Uh, if you didn't get this with your firearm, you probably want to pick one up. It'll make disassembly a lot easier. Now, maybe you've got a 1911 that doesn't use one of these, and that's perfectly fine too. Again, there could be some steps that are a little bit different. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, you want to ensure that the firearm is in fact unloaded. So just go ahead and uh, eject a magazine if you happen to have one. My magazines are all sitting right here. Just go ahead and pull back on the slide, look down the chamber and indicate that the firearm is in fact loaded and go ahead and set the firearm back down. Now, I do sometimes get a little bit of a buildup on my magazines. So what you wanna do is just put a little drop or two of some CLP on a patch. Go ahead and just wipe down your magazines. Uh, the magazines that come with the uh, SR 1911, they're either aluminum or stainless steel. So they are uh, you know, corrosion resistant and so on, but you definitely just wanna wipe them off. And I put about, Oh, 50, 75 rounds through this SR 1911 yesterday, so she's a little bit dirty. Um, and again, you do tend to get a little bit of a buildup on those magazines. So go ahead and wipe those off. Now, with the same patch, with these 1911s, you get a lot of powder residue on the end of the barrel. And, you know, that can depend on the type of ammunition that you're using. But as you can see, I've got a little bit of a, a buildup on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe that off initially, just to kind of keep my hands clean as I start to uh, disassemble the gun. Although we're going to get a little bit dirty, and that's always part of the fun of cleaning any firearms. So you can see the powder residue that's built up on there. And if at any point in this video, I do want to apologize that this happens to get out of focus. These shiny guns with a white background, it's kind of difficult for me to keep everything in focus. But if you just follow uh, what I tell you to do, you're going to be fine. Okay, so that is our first step. Okay, so now for this next step, you're going to want to be really careful. And I'm actually going to have a different grasp while I do this. What you're going to want to do is take your barrel bushing tool. You're going to press down and you're going to turn this about a quarter of a turn. Okay, now what's going to happen is the rim of this barrel bushing is going to eventually slip off the plunger and the plunger is going to come out. Now, now this plunger is under spring pressure, so you want to be very careful when you do this. This is probably the most difficult part of disassembly, uh, in my opinion. So you're going to grasp it, take your barrel bushing tool, and you're going to turn it a quarter of a turn, keeping pressure the whole time, and slowly lift up, and your plunger is going to come out. Okay. So I'm gonna get a different grip and we will show you how this actually works. Okay, so depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, just get a nice firm grasp around the barrel and the slide. Go ahead and take your tool and just go ahead and slide a little bit until you move off the, uh, the barrel bushing. Okay, now what I like to do is to just press down with my thumb on the plunger and just go ahead and slide off the barrel bushing and just slowly let go of the pressure, okay? And you can just take it right out. So we just press down and up. So as you pull this off to uh, the right uh, clockwise, you're gonna slowly be uh, relieving the tension off this plunger and then the plunger is gonna come right out, okay? So it's not that difficult to do. Okay, so now the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and pull back the slide so that we're able to take out the uh, takedown pin. And now that the spring and the plunger are out, uh, the tension has been relieved off of the, uh, the slide itself. So there's a little tiny notch right here. Then you got this part right here, which is your slide stop notch, okay? And then right here is gonna be your takedown notch. It's just a little tiny curve that you have right there. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and pull back on the pistol until you align the rear of the takedown pin with the little notch right here. And then you just pull and you'll be able to take the takedown pin right out. Go ahead and set that off to the side and we will go on to your next step. Okay, just go ahead and push your slide forward. Slide's gonna come right off and we've got the gun partially disassembled. Now it can be a little bit, a little bit difficult to get the recoil spring off this guide rod. So just go ahead and pull from the rear and just go ahead and pull out the guide rod and the guide rod spring. Go ahead and take out your uh, barrel bushing right here which all you have to do is turn it 
counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn from where we started and pull the barrel bushing right out. Okay, and then from there your barrel is going to slide forward. Go ahead and remove it from the slide. There you go, and we will continue. Okay, so just go ahead and spray a little bit of CLP down the barrel. It's gonna foam up a bit for you, and that's fine. And that's gonna kinda let that uh, marinade for a little bit and really soak into the metal. That'll make it really easy and real simple to clean off. Okay, with a little bit of CLP on a patch, go ahead and wipe off your guide rod and your guide rod spring. You can pull the spring off if you want to, but it's a little bit difficult to put the spring back on. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it, but just give it a good wipe off. Again, you don't wanna overdo it with the oil. Uh, you don't want the gun over overly lubricated because if you do, there's a chance that you're gonna get more buildup on it, more fouling, more particles. And depending on the type of um, environment that you're operating in, that can cause some issues. If you're in a dusty, dirty, sandy environment, you know, you can you have to worry about jams and fouling and stuff like that. So. so Set that off to the side. Go ahead and wipe off your takedown pin. It's very simple. And again, the more you practice this, the, the more that you take your gun apart and clean it, I think you're gonna find it to be uh, easier and easier every single time. So just go ahead and get your thumbnail in there and scrub out that little notch on the takedown pin. Just go ahead and wipe all that off. Let that sit for a little bit. If there's any excess oil when we're done, you can always wipe it off with a dry patch or just a clean patch with some CLP on it if you want to. Go ahead and wipe off your barrel bushing. Like I said, these uh, 1911s, they tend to get uh, pretty dirty, uh, mainly because of just the sheer amount of powder that you have in each of your rounds. Okay, go ahead and put your pinky in there and scrub out your barrel bushing. Now again, you can run a brush through this if you want to. Uh, mine's not too bad, so I'm not gonna worry about that, but just give it a good scrub. There we go. All right, looks good. Okay, and then for the uh, plunger here, what you can do is you can use a cleaning rod down here if you want to, otherwise you can just use some Q-tips to scrub it out. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm gonna use here real quick. Okay, so what really makes this easy with this little spring plug, if you happen to have a, a guide rod, like a cleaning rod that came with a pistol, like say a Glock or any other pistol, just go ahead and put a little dab of CLP on a patch and you can just go ahead and run that in here. And we can also reuse this patch if we want to on the barrel, if the uh, patch isn't too dirty. So we can use that just to kind of scrub it out a little bit. There we go. And then just go ahead and uh, wipe off this little plunger or spring plug, whatever you want to call it. Uh, get all the grit and grime off of it. It could be a little bit dirty in the front because of the serrations. Okay, and we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to our barrel. So since we already have a patch here on the cleaning rod, I think what we'll do is just go ahead and run that down the barrel one time just to get that initial swath of powder out of there. It's gonna be fairly dirty before we run the uh, bore brush through it. Here we go. Yeah, you can definitely see a lot of buildup on that patch. Now you can do this a couple times if you want to, uh, but I'm gonna re rely primarily on my uh, bore brush to do this, although it looks fairly clean inside right now. And go ahead and grab yourself a little bit of CLP on another patch here. And at this point, you can get out, you know, like an old toothbrush if you have one, if you want to do some scrubbing on the barrel, around the area, around the rear and the chamber and so on. Uh, you can certainly do that if you want to, otherwise just a nice wipe off usually does the job with a good high quality cleaner. There we go. Wipe off this area where you have this little notch, this little loop right here. You're going to get a lot of buildup towards the rear also. So make sure that you get that nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to work on this for a couple minutes and then uh, we'll go ahead and just run that uh, bore snake through the uh, through the barrel and we will go from there so hang tight okay so if you've never used a bore snake before the procedure is, is pretty simple all you got to do is just go ahead and put a little bit of oil in front and in back of the uh, copper bristles that you have on the uh, the brush itself there we go just a little bit doesn't take a whole lot and go ahead and start at the uh, the rear of the barrel just go ahead and feed the bore snake through and go ahead and pull it through there a couple times now this is a brand new one, so it might be kind of firm. It might take a little bit of pressure to get that uh, barrel brush to go through, which is perfectly fine. Okay, so go and run it through again. Uh, you could probably run it through, I suppose, two times or something like that. There you go. Let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Okay, let's check the bore, the barrel. Okay, the barrel's nice and shiny. It's probably kind of hard for you guys to see that. But at this point, I'm gonna say that our barrel is clean, so go ahead and set that off to the side. And we will move on to cleaning the slide. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just a little bit of CLP on a patch here. Just go ahead and do a general wipe out. Just go ahead and wipe out the slide. Get all that powder residue out of there. Uh, don't worry about that. If it's if it's dirty, we're just gonna keep cleaning it off until it finally comes clean. Definitely around the area, the uh, ejection port, you tend to get a lot of buildup. The area where your firing pin is, uh, that's definitely gonna get some buildup too. So you wanna make sure you get that a nice clean. 
Sometimes you have to take an old toothbrush to that area and kind of scrub around there. You can do that inside the slide anytime if you want to. If you have like a like an older uh, soft bristle toothbrush you're not using, those work really, really good too. So go ahead and just give that a, a little bit of a scrub and a clean off there. Again, you don't want to keep things excessively oiled. That's not necessary with a gun like this. Just a minimal amount of lubrication to, to keep things going. Sorry, slide got off the camera there. All right, so go ahead and wipe that out a little bit. All right, now uh, put a little bit of uh, CLP on a Q-tip and just go ahead and run it down the tracks on the inside of the slide. And you're gonna take off some of that buildup and residue. Again, the, uh, the amount of, of filth I guess you're gonna have inside that gun is gonna depend on how many rounds you put through it, uh, as well as the type of ammo that you're using because some ammo shoots cleaner than others. Just run another Q-tip down there, down these little channels at the rear of the slide here. Again, I do apologize that this is out of focus, but if you follow along, you guys are doing the same thing, you should be good too. So kind of wipe out the, uh, the inside here where the barrel locks into place. There we go. Now you might have a hard time getting down here in the front of the slide, so just go ahead and wipe that out with a Q-tip also. And you can go over this a couple times if you want to. Um, just make sure it's not overly lubricated. Wipe off any excess oil that you might have kind of floating around, and that'll make it real easy for you. So I'm gonna work on this for a couple minutes, and then uh, we will come back. Okay, so uh, final stage here for cleaning off the slide. Just go ahead and wipe off the inside one more time with a couple drops of CLP on the patch. You don't need too much lubricant in there. Make sure you get in there up towards the front of the barrel. Get your fingers in there. There we go. And then to go ahead and take your Q-tip with a couple drops of CLP and run it into these channels at the, uh, the rear of the slide. Make sure you get a little bit of oil all the way through. And there's a real deep channel here on the, the right-hand side, or I guess you could say the left-hand side. Uh, make sure that you get your Q-tip down there and do just get a little tiny bead of lubricant in there so that every surface that is being touched is gonna have some sort of lubricant on it. And then also run a little bit of CLP down those tracks on a Q-tip. Again, don't overly lubricate it and uh, you're good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the frame now. Okay, so uh, cleaning your frame or your lower, whatever you want to call it, is pretty simple. A little bit of CLP on a patch. Just go ahead and wipe out every surface you can come in contact with. Just give everything a nice scrub. Uh, feel free to use any, again, old toothbrushes if you have a buildup that's not coming off. You can just kind of scrub it a little bit with some CLP on it and then wipe it off. So almost think of uh, CLP almost as your, your soap and your preservative, your cleaner, and so on. And uh, you'll definitely, especially in a stainless steel gun like this, you will definitely start to see the muck and residue come off. You can see how filthy this first patch is. So again, we just want a couple patches that are uh, lubricated and ready to go. So just go ahead and wipe out all the surfaces. And then I'll show you another step here. Uh, it's a part that a lot of people have a tendency to, uh, to forget about. So again, you can wipe off the whole frame. You can also do a complete wipe down of the gun with say some REM oil or just a little bit of CLP once we get all done. And again, a lot of people make comments on my videos like, oh my God, your gun is so oily. Well, yeah, I just got done cleaning it, obviously. And so I always wipe off any kind of excess with a uh, dry patch, but I like to hit everything the first time to get that CLP on there. So it starts to really get in there and do what it's supposed to do. We can clean behind the hammer here eventually when we reassemble the firearm. Now go ahead and take a little bit of CLP on a, a Q-tip or a cotton swab and just run that down the tracks, both sides, okay? And then make sure you have a little bit of CLP on the other end, some clean CLP, and just uh, go ahead and lightly lubricate these rails here. This is one of your main contact surfaces, so obviously you're gonna want some sort of lubricant on there too. Go ahead and get that in there. And then uh, if you want, you can kind of scoop out the front here. You tend to get a little bit of a buildup in this area uh, to the rear of the barrel, okay? It's also a good time to kind of take a look and see if you have any unusual wear marks. I've got a little bit of a dark spot right here on the top of the frame, which is not a big deal, but I'll kind of keep an eye on that. Go and clean out the uh, the takedown pin hole. You sometimes get a buildup in there too. The feed ramps, this little rear notch right here where your takedown pin goes in or whatever you wanna call that part, right? There we go. Okay, now the next step I'm gonna show you is something that's not necessary, but you should maybe think about doing it uh, once in a while. Uh, what we're gonna do here is put a little bit of CLP on a patch as usual and uh, go ahead and put this on a cleaning rod or if you have one of these pistol cleaning, little cleaning handles or cleaning rods, this makes it really easy. You're gonna get a bit of a buildup of muck and crud in your gun, especially if it's a daily carry gun, uh, if you go to the range a lot. So you'd be surprised with what builds up inside the pistol grip. So just go ahead and run a patch down there to clean everything out, come in from the top here. And sometimes, you know, you might not have cleaned this out initially when you first bought your gun, there can sometimes be some assembly oil or grease in this part of the pistol. And that's kind of nice to have. So just kind of scrub the front area, especially down by the trigger. There we go, let's kind of scrub that out a little bit. Again, not overly lubricated, just a very thin, light protective coat of oil. 
And remember, at all times, you do not want to get uh, oil on your ammunition because it can cause some primer fouling in some extreme cases. And that's uh, it. So let's go ahead and do a quick reassembly, and we will go from there. Okay, so for uh, reassembly here, we're going to go ahead and take our time on this. So all you got to do is just go ahead and take your barrel, this little link right here, make sure that this is facing forward. Uh, go ahead and slide your barrel into place. There you go. Make sure that it's um, locked all the way back. Okay, so it's actually just sitting down there and it's locked into position. Now go ahead and take your uh, barrel bushing and you can go ahead and put this on, uh, I guess you could say probably the four o'clock position and go ahead and rotate it over to the eight o'clock position, nine o'clock position so that the barrel is now locked into place. Okay, and you wanna keep this front clear so when your guide rod spring comes out, your recoil spring comes out, it doesn't get caught on anything. And go ahead and take your recoil spring and press that in from the front. So it just simply comes out right here. Now there's a little, like little half moon, like a little notch right here. You wanna make sure that that is actually laying down on the barrel so that the little arch is sticking out of the top. So it should look like this if you have it assembled properly. There we go. Okay, and we will move on to our next step. All right guys, so for reassembly, you wanna make sure that this little loop is gonna be hanging down because your disassembly pin is gonna go through this hole right here in the frame, which is also going to go through this loop, which is going to basically lock the barrel into place. And so you can see how I have everything set up. All right, so what you wanna do is go ahead and just kinda of hold on to it as such. Now I'm doing this from the side, which is gonna be a little bit difficult for me on camera, just so you know, but it's not impossible. So just go ahead and put your slide on the rails. There we go. Make sure that once you get that little guide rod in there, you're pretty much home free. Now what I'm gonna do is push back on the barrel and the slide until I can see that <clears throat> little loop right here aligned perfectly, okay? That uh, little loop is right here. I can't see any part of the loop. So if I take this pin and press through, it should lock the barrel into place. Now you wanna go ahead and pick your slide and move it back to the point that your little takedown notch is aligned with this little square back here. Okay, and make sure that you do not push on the uh, safety on the rear of the handle while you're doing this. Okay, and then just go ahead and press that pin right through. Now this part can be a little bit tricky. Don't worry, you're not gonna break anything. There's a little bit of resistance you're gonna feel and that should just go right across and you should be all set to go, okay? So just make sure the barrel's nice and locked into place. The barrel doesn't move forward or backwards. It means that it is in fact uh, locked to where it needs to be and we'll go on to our final step. All right, so go ahead and move your barrel forward all the way, or I'm sorry, your slide all the way forward, okay? And then what we wanna do is go ahead and take this plunger, we're gonna put it back on the front. Um, I just press really, really hard. You might wanna use your tool if you need to, but I just press, kinda get it locked into place partially so that your barrel bushing is pressing down on the little spring plunger here. And if you want to, you can use your tool at this point. Um, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna press and slide this across, and that's all you have to do to uh, lock that back into place, but if you wanna use your tool to slide it across, you can certainly do that too. That's up to you and your grip strength, okay? So now what we wanna do next is go ahead and just uh, function test the uh, the pistol. So go ahead and pull back a couple times, okay? Go ahead and dry fire it. And uh, looks like it's reassembled properly. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and function test this real quick. I've got some uh, snap caps or some dummy rounds. We're just gonna put one in an empty magazine and uh, go ahead and put your magazine in. If you don't, obviously, I don't want you to do this with live ammo, but if you have practice rounds, this is certainly okay to do. Go ahead and chamber that practice round like you normally would. Uh, if you want, you can just go ahead and cycle the, the firearm using the slide. Should launch your dummy round right out of there, and if so, you're good to go. All right, so go ahead and uh, release that slide. Just go ahead and dry fire, and you are all set. All right, guys, so I wanna thank you for uh, sticking along with us through this little cleaning journey of the SR1911. I'm hoping I didn't miss any steps, and I know everybody kinda of has their own little uh, ways that they like to disassemble and clean their firearms and so on. Final step is just a, just a general wipe off with some REM oil or CLP. Make sure you don't leave any surfaces greasy but clean. Um, otherwise, guys, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, gunchannels.com, GunStreamer, YouTube, guntube.org. Uh, and also you can support me over on Patreon. My channel is TravisP11 if you'd like to contribute to the channel, and it uh, helps ensure that we can continue to buy firearms and ammunition and continue providing great content to you for the channel. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Like or subscribe, mash that bell so you don't miss any notifications. And in the meantime, I want you all to have fun. I want you to be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a great week. Bye-bye.